The biggest problem with YouTube gurus at the moment is that there is advice for some people which is really good, but the same advice is horrible for the majority of the viewers. One huge thing what everybody preaches on YouTube at the moment is to go high ticket on your dropshipping products. Hands down, that's one of the worst advice you can actually give to a beginner. If you're just starting out with dropshipping, it's terrible advice and you should not start with high ticket stuff. In this video, I'm gonna dissect why low ticket products are actually the way to go if you're just starting out. And also I'm gonna back it up with a lot of proof because I know that the majority of people watching this right now have this belief in their head that okay, you should for sure go high ticket because just so many people on YouTube preach that. So first of all, on a lot of the interviews I already posted on my channel, basically the interviews where I talk to my students and we check on their screen, see how their stores did, we see a lot of cases where the average order value is actually pretty low. So it's basically between 15 and $30, which is not high at all, but they're still hyper profitable constantly over a long term period, okay? So let me explain why low ticket is working so well at the moment. First of all, it is not saturated. Because so many people on YouTube say you should go high ticket, low ticket products are actually less saturated but not worse in the quality of the product, okay? They fit all the criteria but they're just not high ticket and a lot of people don't go for them because they think, okay, I should only go for high ticket stuff. That immediately makes you stand out with st selling low ticket items, that's number one. Number two, is you get data on Facebook super, super quickly. How it works on Facebook is you basically have to have a lot of sales to actually feed the pixel, which is gonna understand then better your target audience, okay? With low ticket items, the pixel is gonna have so many more sales much, much quicker than high ticket things, obviously, because it's just the quantity is gonna be higher sooner and you can build lookalike audiences sooner, you can do retargeting sooner, you have really strong email lists, which you can also retarget because so many people bought from you or initiated checkout because the item is so cheap, okay? So the cycle of testing a product is just so much quicker and also it's way more budget friendly because you identify a winning product much earlier. If you, for example, sell a $100 item, you have to spend a lot of money till you even understand if it's a winning product or not because you have to go till the break even on the asset level. However, with low ticket items, you can kill the ad set super early and basically see if it's a good product or not very, very quick. And basically, if it's not a good product, you just switch it immediately and find a winner much, much quicker, okay? So with high ticket products, the cycle of testing is just so much longer and it consumes way more budget. There's a huge misconception going on that the margins with low ticket items are bad, okay? This is not necessarily the case if you do things right. In the beginning, it feels like this. I basically would have to spend $5 on the product to actually buy it. I sell it for, let's say, $18. And then also, I would have a cost per purchase on Facebook, which is gonna be, let's say, $10. And then I'm not gonna be profitable or make only like one or $2 per purchase, all right? So obviously five plus 10 is gonna be 15, and then you only have $3 left for the margin, which even then would not be bad because $3 at first doesn't sound like like a lot. However, if you scale it up and have hundreds of sales every single day, which is totally possible, it becomes a lot immediately. Also, the margins can actually be way higher because if you sell an item for $18, obviously a lot of people will buy two or three or four items, which is gonna improve the average order value without having extra cost for, for acquiring the person to, like as traffic on your website, okay? So first of all, the upsells are huge. And the second thing is your cost per purchase on Facebook can actually be quite low. It's pretty realistic to have a five to eight dollars cost per purchase on low ticket items, which means that your margin can easily be above 20% and that's all you need, okay? As long as your, your margin is above 20%, everything is fine. And even if it's like 17 and you do it on a high scale, you're good. Obviously you can also have like margins of 30 or 35%, but on scale, if you make five to 10K um, revenue per day, it's more than enough to have a 20% margin, okay? So just to back it up here, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of my students actually having good margins. So, so you just have this peace of mind in your head. 105k profit, 275 yeah. margin. Is and profit perfect. margins never, never went under like, um, under 20, never. What was the profit margin in this one? Uh, I think it was 25%, nope. if okay. I'm not mistaken, because a lot of people were buying um, the upsell or like mm -hmm. taking the multiple. 
this is just one little thing which is a huge misconception and when, which can basically ruin your business from the get-go. If you start without this, you're gonna have such a hard time to get started and everything is gonna be just much tougher, okay? There's tons of these types of pitfalls. And if you actually don't want to fall into them, I offer one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions, which are completely free of charge. You can just click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session. There we're gonna find out if we're actually a good fit to work together. And if we are, we're gonna actually start working together long-term so I can guide you through the whole process from A to Z. Okay, it's really important to have a person next to you who's constantly looking over your shoulder and telling you what to do and which mistakes to avoid. Because in the beginning, it can be super hard to identify a winning product, to make a good ad, to have a proper Facebook ad structure, to not get blocked on Facebook because you don't violate all the policies without knowing them, okay? And also to like build proper stores, to know what the real focus should be, to have good suppliers, to have fast shipping times. All of those things are not easy to figure out with just watching YouTube videos or just doing everything by yourself. So if you actually want to get mentored by me, click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session, and yeah, see you there.